just gonna have to see what happens today, folks. I mean, you look at the games today. You got Arizona going against, going up against the New Orleans Saints, that were the best team in the NFL this year, and they kind of been on a losing streak of late. Um, Arizona starting to get back to where they were last year when they got to the Super Bowl. So, I mean, folks, I just don't know which way it's gonna go. I mean, I tell you, I tell you, I give you my honest opinion on the situation. As we look on the games today, Arizona and the Saints, I just feel that Kurt Warner, he's ready to go. I really feel that, you know, some people might say, you know, that, you know, he's getting up there in age. He might be his last year, but I think he still has it in him to be the star of how he once was. I really feel that Kurt Warner will be the star today. He'll have five touchdowns. Uh, the defense will step it up for Cardinals, and I put exclamation mark. I really feel the Saints are going to put up some points too. It'll be a very close game. I think it'll be a touchdown that wins it, and I think it'll be Fitzgerald. That's my gut. That's my feeling on the Arizona Saints game. Okay, now we look at the second game today. We look at the Jets, and we look at San Diego Chargers. And folks, you know, over the years I've made lots of predictions, I've said this and that, but believe you me, I really believe, like I'm telling you right now folks, I really, really believe the Jets are going to pull this out, I really believe in Rex Ryan's defense, I really think they're the real deal, I think they're going to surprise the, the Chargers, they will stop the running game with LT and Sproles, and I think Phillip Rivers is going to be running all over the place trying to make a throw and he'll throw a lot of interceptions. So I think the the rookie of the year pretty much and Mark Sanchez is going to be like his USC, USC days in University of South Car California, Southern California. So I really see that the miracle, as they would say, Jets are back, folks. Um, the New York football Jets are going to win this game by at least 10 points. And I don't know if they'll cover the spread, but I really feel they'll win today. And there's no doubt in my mind. And we look to tomorrow's games, the Dallas Cowboys and the Minnesota Vikings, the big primetime game. It's tomorrow morning. It should be a heck of a game, both teams. I mean, one of the biggest games of Tony Romo's career, another big game in uh, Brett Favre's career. He's looking for a victory. It's a possibility that they probably will win. But there's a possibility that Dallas Cowboys will win. Because I look at their defense. They look so good right now. They're on a roll. They look great. And let me tell you, folks. I've watched a lot of football over the years. And, you know, sometimes you have a hunch. Sometimes you have a, a good feeling about a team. And I think this team is really giving me the impression that they want to win. So watch out for the Cowboys. It's going to be a close game. I'm going with the Cowboys. I think they'll win it. But if I'm wrong... Big deal. It looks like Farr is going to be put, taking on Warner. We'll see what happens. But my money's on the Cowboys. I really feel their defense is so much better. And and they're more aggressive than the Minnesota defense. Minnesota has a great defense, no doubt. But I think the pressure will be too much for Brett Farr. And he'll throw a lot of interceptions in tomorrow's game against the Cowboys. And to look at the last game of this weekend, the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Baltimore Ravens. And it's going to be the same thing. I really feel that Baltimore will pull it out. It will be a low-scoring game. They will get to um, um, Peyton Manning a lot. I think they'll sack him quite a bit. They will. I think Ray Lewis will be playing a man determined to go to the Super Bowl. Um, I just I feel it's going to be a good game for the fans. It might be low-scoring, but you're going to see a lot of great plays in tomorrow's game. And, folks, it should be good. No doubt about it. Um, thanks for watching. This is Mark Spencer for NFL Playoffs 2010 style. We'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.